And I'm not telling you this because I'm preaching to you. It's something that I struggle with every day myself. We all have insecurities. We all have doubts. We all have things that keep us from being our best. Okay? And one of the exercises that Watch Me Win is all about is teaching you, reconditioning your brain mm -hmm. to see beauty in everything. The world sees you the way the, you see the, the way you see the world is the way the world sees you back. That means whatever you see, however you see it, is the way it's going to come back to you. We are here as products of giving. You have to give in your lifetime. You have to be available to things that are above you. You have to be accountable for things that are above you at this age. Because at this age will take you throughout the rest of your life. And when you become successful, because I believe all of you will be successful, not monetarily, but living in your passion and your purpose is what I define as success. I believe all of you will be successful and give back and do the things that you should do and learn that life is not about you. To the left and to the right of you, nobody in this room is any better than the next person to the left or to the right of you. I'm no better than any of you. None of us are. Because without you, I'm nothing. And without you, without me, you're nothing. It may not make sense to you. It may seem really kind of like, okay, surface. But when you go throughout life and you achieve those things that you want to, you'll really learn that one hand washes the other. You go throughout life like this, nothing comes to you. I know all of you have heard, you reap what you sow. Yin, yang, you know, we can go on and on and on for the different titles for you reap what you sow. But the basis of reap, reaping what you sow is good and bad. If you sow good seed into this world and into your lives, you will harvest a good harvest. When I was younger, my grandfather used to always tell me as I left out the door, do right and right will follow you. That's the same thing as you reap what you sow. So if you can find a way in your daily lives, I'm here to encourage you just to find a way in your daily lives, no matter where you are. If you're in the, in the nicest area in Chicago, if you're in the ghetto, doesn't matter where you are. Challenge yourself every single day to wake up and see past your bricks. See your potential to where you want to be every single day. And mo most importantly, once you deal with your, um, the physical sense of where you are in this world, look in the mirror. Look at yourselves and see everything that's beautiful about you. See everything that's beautiful about you, because there's something beautiful about us all. That's right. And whether you want to, right. whether you, oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Whether you want to apply that to just yourself. He's an actor, so the set must be quiet. No, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, like, cut, cut. Because, guys, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. For me. <laughs> this is the most important thing I'll ever do in my lifetime, and I'm honest with you. Speaking to you guys is the most impactful thing that I could ever do in my lifetime. And I know how attention spans are in today's society, so I want to make sure I have your undivided attention. But anyway, in closing, my whole purpose to be with you today and to share with you today is to empower and encourage each other to be the best that you can be. And to look at yourselves, find beauty in everything, every day. Go home, write some affirmations, as Danny said he did when he was a kid. Because there's a phrase in the Bible that says, once you write it down, you set it in stone. Thank you. I don't know the exact scripture, but I got the premise. <laughs> you know, write it down, have dreams and goals for yourselves. And daily, like I said, I challenge you guys to see good in your daily lives. I challenge you as you go to blogs and you watch television, media, I challenge you every time someone says something negative about anybody influential or not influential in this lifetime, I challenge you to see the good in them. And I guarantee you, when you start to recondition your mind to see good in your daily lives, the world will bring good to you. Because really, at the end of the day, there's no difference in any of us on this planet, whether we be billionaires or be on food stamps. There's no difference than the way we see the world. That's it. Everybody has a problem. Everybody has circumstance. Everybody has heartache. Everybody has cancers to deal with, AIDS, 
every single thing in this planet everybody knows or has to deal with 